just the title of this video is going to be My Story of How I Came to Get the Onyx OCR. It was a, this, was, this was an insane story, man, you know. Some folks just get things and they warn and they worry about certain ideas and what people think. For me, I don't. I feel like you only live once, you buy what you want. That's why that Mustang Cobra sent over there in this 2019 F-150 Larry edition. You see, anytime I get stuff, I always want to get the best. And I, once I bought the Air Rider Grizzly, I wanted a little bit more. I ain't said the Grizzly wasn't good. The Grizzly was a great bike. Great bike. Don't get me wrong, that's a great bike sitting over there. But I want a little bit more. I got on the road, a truck shot by me on a, a road that was like speed limit was 45. And I'm like, I wish I had something to go a little bit faster. It won't be a shoot by me as much. And I started kind of looking around like, it was the, I saw the Sauron, the Talaro, I saw the Monday motorbike, I saw the hook, but they just didn't quite just grab my attention. They didn't grab my attention. I'm like, then I was talking to one of my guys, Rob Dunlop, he's in the group. He was like, you will look at the Onyx? And that's when I went on my journey of the Onyx. I watched over, shit, hundreds of videos about this bike on YouTube. Anything that says something about the honest, I watch it. God, I, I, that's what I do. I like to investigate things. I just don't buy things and and go from there. I like to look at them and investigate it and convince myself. Most time, I don't ever tell them about my purchases. I just get it because most time people can talk you out your blessings or the stuff you want. Because they usually, they can't have not, they don't want you to have. So I was like, um, I'm gonna look into the Onyx. So I once I, I got I, I looked on Facebook and got into the groups on the Onyx. I was like, I'm gonna see what everybody said about the Onyx. What's the word on the Onyx? And um, I was like, um, the Onyx looked pretty good. And everybody told me how fast it was, and I seen it was it beat the hook on YouTube. It beat the money back on YouTube. The sub run couldn't stand a chance until they started kind of upgrading their controllers and stuff. But to me, those bikes don't need to do that. Those bikes are not built too good. I saw one in person. They frame is not as strong as the Onyx frame. Everybody, the, the Onyx kind of heavy. Yeah, because it's basically a, a motorcycle. Then the pillow kind of battery you got, like me, I got the 41 IH battery. So his battery is much heavier. But the bike, I really be on a heavier bike with a strong frame than a lighter bike that's go fast. But the frame is small. If you hit something, that thing going to come like a can. Maybe this will too, but that that's a, that's a run. It didn't like it was too too tough. So I, I talked to John about it. I found a bike that was um, used on the um, on the website. I could never get in contact with the guy. He he ghosted me for a few days or a week or so. Then he'll come back and say something. So I was like, it was a good deal. I mean, he had the bike was loaded. Had both batteries and stuff, and we we had kind of made it a, a price at fifty five hundred for a, a bike with both batteries. Had all the dirt kit and everything on it. I think he won over six grand for the bike, and I was like, I ain't even paid no six grand for no bike. I mean, it's used too, so that's where if I ever sell my bike, I would never try to sell it for the price I paid. I feel like I'm gonna drive the piss out of it. So when I do sell it. Losing five hundred to a thousand dollars won't hurt me because I felt like I got my use out of it. So, but the guy he ghosted me for the final time. Once I met up with him, I mean, once I talked to him, I was like, I can't keep playing like that. If I'm gonna spend five grand on a bike, I want something new. And the bike was like forty. The bike, this bike was like forty-two hundred, but I upgraded to the bigger battery, so it's like fifty-three or something. I think I upgraded to the bigger battery, and I was like. I'm going to spend that kind of money on a bike. I want something new. I want to put all the miles on there. Beside the one mile that Onyx put on when it was test driving. If I can know everything wrong with it. Because you can, you can go into details of buying stuff from people that's used. And they can just get it just right for you. Then after a few days, that thing have problems. But you don't pay your cash money. You got a good money. So I talked to John. Me and talk. Me and Rob. And a few other fellas in the group talk. And I was like, my best option is getting new. Get a new bike. I don't have nothing to worry about. 
anything going wrong, it's still on the warranty. And I'll probably get, get it insured one day, too. Because it's a good bike here. Get up under my home or it's insured. And I'm like, I'm going to get this bike. So even though I thought Sal was going to get it, I still waited a week. And I missed out on the sale they had where you get like, I guess it was 200 bucks off. But I ended up still getting 200. Like it was like 190 off the bike, I think. Well, I ended up getting off the bike. So I, I finally hit the click button on a Saturday. And I ordered the bike. And then they said super fast shipping. So the process was going real good. The bike was getting built. Then they emailed me and said, they was running short on batteries. I'm like, short on batteries? Because I want the 41 H. They said they had the 23 in stock. I don't want no 23. Like I told you again, when I order something, I want the best. I don't want to be regretting later on. Then I got to spend more money because I, I I did a bad decision of not buying the best. So he told me it's going to be a few days till they get the bike. A few days to get the battery. That's on a Monday, they told me. So by on Wednesday, I sent an email. They said, the batteries weren't gonna be until mid April. I'm like, mid April. I'm like, what the hell? I said, cool. So I take email Vince. I call Vince. I said, Vince, it's cool. Well, I can wait. I wait this long. So what you talking about, man? I said, I got an email saying that the the batteries, 41 41 IH batteries, weren't gonna be in until mid April. He said, no, no. He said, we have a shipment of batteries coming that's already spoke for, us, and you first on the list. So you you, you your battery will probably be in Thursday. So last Thursday he called me. He said, your battery's in. I'm going to see the shipping info by the end of the day. So he, that day went by the shipping info. Then Friday came up, the bike was already shipped. I guess if you got to hit me up, but it was cool. I'm like, okay, good. And, it sh- and I got an email saying, when you, when do you want the bike? Come. I said, hey, Tuesday, fine. I'm going out of town, going to Destin, Florida, let my hair back. If I get the bike in time, I can take that bike down there, back in my truck. And uh, so I was like, cool. So Monday came around. I just something was up. I'm like, the bike been sitting in Chicago for a while. I said, why the hell is she in Chicago? They had some kind of emergency, something I call FedEx, where the weather or something happened where the truck had got stopped. I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. My luck, bike going to be behind the schedule. Then Tuesday morning came up, the bike was in New York. I'm like, how the bike skip over Texas, Alabama, everywhere, and go to New York? I'm like, oh, God, something's going to be wrong. The bike's going too far. I, I put in the group, I was mad. I was like, this is not right, something going on. Should I cancel my purchase? I was all kind of still going to my mind. I'm like, why is it New York? So okay. I said, okay, it's in New York. it's in New Jersey. Then that afternoon it went up too far to New York. It was in Montgomery, New York. I'm like, why the back going farther north? I'm like, it's FedEx got something going on. I like something is really, really going on. But again, the story gonna get better on FedEx end. So I went on left with on my trip. So I put a hold on the bike, say, okay, I'll be back Saturday. And then come back, I'd be available for delivery on Saturday. So I started looking, and like within like on Wednesday night, the bike was in Montgomery, New York. About 4 a.m., I was about to check my phone. The bike was in, I think, Maryland. I'm like, damn, it's, it's moving south now. About time it moved in the south. Then about Thursday morning, the bike was in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm like, now nah, I'm not looking at my look. I'm saying they, they hope they don't try to deliver my bike when I'm not at home and stuff like that. That's what it started going through my mind. But I want the bike, but I want it home. I'm like 300 miles from home because I went to the beach, whatever. So um, Friday morning, my bike, I got a coat that my bike out for delivery. I'm like, how out for delivery? I said, maybe when they get to my house, they'll see I got a hole in the bike so they, they won't try to ship the bike. No, sir. At 3.30, 3.45, it said bike try to be 